Personal privacy is important in relationships. It's something that depicts good boundaries. And it also includes things like your personal opinion, your personal feelings about things, your personal practice of faith, or just values you uphold, opinions you don't really want to share with your partner or past things. You have a right to keep that. And when you meet someone or when you're in a relationship with someone who says that's private, that's something that is honored. It shows a healthy boundary for the person. The person is not just, you know, open to everything. They have integrity. They have character. A lot of couples get, get mixed privacy versus secrets. Secrets are not healthy in a relationship. Secrets are things you hide, things that you don't want your partner to know, things that could put your partner in jeopardy. They're, they're areas where you're, you feel guilty or you don't want your partner to know. And that's what makes secrets so dangerous in relationships. I see a lot of couples now who will basically use the words interchangeable. They are not interchangeable, they are different. If someone says, I wanna keep our relationship private right now, that's respectable. Of course, I would be curious why. They might say, well, I just wanna make sure it's strong before we announce it. And, you know, I, I just wanna take my time. I don't wanna feel rushed. I don't wanna hear from other people about congratulations or anything. I would rather keep what we have created secret or private right now. If your partner says, I want to keep this secret, I don't want you to tell anyone what we're doing together, I don't want anyone to know. That's a secret and that is not healthy and it's very different. So privacy is good for you. It's honest. It's, it's full of integrity. It's a good thing in relationships. It's a good, when you see someone who knows, like has boundaries about personal versus what they share, I think that's a healthy component. When someone is holding secrets or they make it sound like this is all a secret or I don't want anybody to know or they hide things from you, that is not healthy and that is not privacy and you have a right to ask them about that, to want to share any secret they have. Now, I want to go through what common secrets are and why they're so dangerous. The first one, having an affair. That's a secret. That is not private. That's something one partner does over the other and they don't want their partner to know that is not healthy. Legal problems, money problems, job problems, addictions, delinquent debt, um, and not revealing a medical or medical condition or an illness. These are secrets. These are not private matters. If you're in a relationship with someone else, these are things you really should not keep private. Keeping these issues private, and I'm sure there's more on the list, like a whole nother family with children, that would be another one I would think of right away. That is not a private matter. That, that is a secret and you want to tell your partner. Remember, a secret is something you're hiding because you don't want your partner to know because you know they'd be upset. Privacy does not have that connotation. There's nothing with it. It's just something you hold dear to your heart and you're not ready or you don't want to share it with anyone. It's for you to reflect on and think about. So how do you talk to your partner if you feel like they've crossed a line, like what they're holding on to or what you're suspicious about is no longer, it's not a private matter, it's a secret. And you usually can feel when someone is avoiding the truth or hiding important information from you. This is how I suggest starting that difficult conversation. First of all, choose the right time and prepare them for the talk. Say, I really wanna to talk to you 
and you know maybe after dinner or find a time where you're not distracted where it's just the two of you and it's quiet and you can really open it up and you can open it with something as simple as i feel like you're holding back there's something i feel like that that's missing there's something i want i need to know you're not telling me something along those lines don't accuse them don't be brutal or go on the attack you're trying to open it up and explore what you're feeling and then what they're willing to tell you secondly be honest and don't make excuses basically you need to be upfront and say you know i just i feel like or if you're the one sharing i feel like this is something i need to share with you I, I don't want it to hurt you. I'm hoping it doesn't hurt you, but we need to talk about it. And so during this conversation, sometimes the person who is the one who has a secret to share will set it up the talk and they will start it. What's important for the listener of that is to be able to sit back, not get angry, not react, but rather than go for those emotions right away, pause and think about it. Think about what your partner is sharing with you. <clears throat> Be honest and don't make excuses. I think when you're going to talk to your partner, whether you're the one that's feeling something is held back or you're the one divulging the secret, it's important that you're honest and you're transparent and you're not blaming. You're basically saying, this is a situation. Um, this is what happened. I was afraid, be honest about why you were afraid to share it. And I mean, honest, vulnerable, and then tell them. The person who is supposedly or may be feeling suspicious can honestly say, I know something is different. You're hiding your phone. Every time I come in, you slam your laptop down. I know something's going on, and I think we need to talk about it. If we're as close as I think we are, let's try and embrace it and get through this. Be patient with the confession. If your partner is the one confessing, telling you the secret, the first thing you need to remember is this took a high level of trust on their part that you would be able to love them through this. Doesn't mean you owe them that. It just means they took that risk. So with that risk, accept what they're saying, try to control and self-soothe yourself to breathe through it. You can decide what you're gonna do after they say it. But the most important thing is can they be honest enough to fess up and say it? be willing to get help. Reaching out and saying, you know what, there's no way I can rebuild the trust or there's no way that we can do this alone. We're gonna need a mental health care professional. We're gonna need a counselor. We're gonna need a physician, whatever resource you need at that time. That's important to be able to address it, to try and rebuild the trust and to go forward in this relationship. Sometimes relationships cannot bear it. They cannot make it, depending on how long the secret was held, how, much, how many lies had to happen every day to protect that secret. And I think taking those things into account are really important when you're deciding, should we continue this relationship or let it go? If this video is helpful for you, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much.